Welcome back to a brand new episode of Ask TDS, 2021 edition. First video of 2021, we just got our COVID screenings, took our temperatures, and we're clear, ready to go. I feel safe being <coughs> Nope, not anymore. So we're gonna ask some questions from the Dammits. I got them right here, I'm gonna read them, and then we're all just gonna answer them as honestly as possible. Question number one is from Jasmine. She says, who is a celebrity crush that you have never told each other about? Celebrity crush you never told each other about? I usually tell people about all my celebrity crushes, yeah. like yeah. Uh, Topanga, Elvira. I love both of those women. I don't really keep my crushes secret because they're celebrity crushes. It's not like I'm ever gonna meet them. Yeah, I can't even think of one that you guys wouldn't know about. Right? No, no I'll tell you. Mine would be Marshall from How I Met Your Mother, Jason Segal. He's I done. can't believe, like, he doesn't seem like that sexy type. He's not. Like, no. I've no. never heard anybody even say he was hot. He's, isn't he, and he's not even really that funny. But he's got, like, a dad bod, and he's really tall, so. Do you into the dad bod thing? I don't think that's a real thing. Yeah, I don't like muscular dudes. I like chubby dudes. All right. Chubby chaser. All right, the next question is from Dammit Cody. He says, what's the most supernatural experience each of you have had? Uh, ooh, I think I know this one. I've shared this before on the air. I, uh, you know, I like sports. I dreamed a football score. I said, the score's going to be 31 to nothing. And uh, I said, I dreamed this was a halftime score. And it was like, it was unbelievable. It was shocking. It was the exact score. That's and crazy. I told people, and they're like, whoa. People were calling me at halftime, like, wow. I think probably I was with you, Lara, when we were on the, uh, oh, when yeah. we were on Dire Lane or whatever the hell. And we had the Ouija board out, and we were <laughs> with our old intern. And there was a video guy with us, and we were just, we decided to try to talk to somebody on Dire Lane, and it worked. And the, what are those things called? What is this piece called that moves around? I don't remember what it's called, but like the thing you push on the Ouija board. It was moving by itself. And then that thing ended up on the ground. And then we freaked out, and we left, and we took, and we threw, we screwed up, and we threw the damn thing in the garbage when you're not, I don't think you're, I think you're supposed to bury them. So we for all I know, it's our thing. fault that 2020 happened. Uh, next question is from Dammit Jessica. She says, have any of you stopped sex midway through and thought, nah, I'm good, and just left? No, you don't You don't just dismount in the middle of a competition. You got to finish. <sighs> well, there's been times, like, if you're having drunk sex, yeah, and you can't, you can't quite that's... get to that moment. So there's times, like, it's, I've been going this for a while. Yeah, and I'm I can't... just going to go to bed now. Yeah. I, I, that's I, usually, I, though, I, when you, you're, that's, you kind of you realize you're going to, but you just keep trying until you usually you wear yourself out. Have you ever faked it? Yes, I I've never faked it on a woman, but I like just did that exact thing where it's like why why would a man fake it? Who cares? Just be like I, it's not gonna happen. Because sometimes they feel bad. when you yeah, because yeah. women feel bad just as much as men do. I, I've I've had I've had I've had I've heard this before. Women are like oh I I just wish you would have gotten yours. So you know okay, it's easier I to just that. fake it. There have been times where I didn't get it, but I'm not gonna fake it. Like why would I do that? give them like this false sense of like yeah no i didn't do it no yeah you get you can't because then you gotta like do better next time do better do better <laughs> all right this is a question from damn it selena she says this one's for the guys what is something you do that may be considered feminine mm. <laughs> i file my nails ah uh, i love candles <laughs> yeah i'll there's smell a, candles i'll buy are, candles, candles oh, i like yeah. the smell of candles more than the average guy. I like I like a good fluffy towel and it has to be folded a certain way. I don't know if that's feminine or just whatever, but it's very specific. I will jam out to some boy bands in my car. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, so I'm right with you on that. Who yeah. Cares? Uh, Johnny said this one's for Lara. How long have you been watching Star Trek Next Generation and who is your favorite character? I've been watching Star Trek Next Generation since I was a little kid. My dad used to watch it and my favorite character is Jordy LaForge because played by LeVar Burton, who's one of the best people in the world, and he's got a nice tushy. So there you go. So you like reading Rainbow's butt? I do. All right. I must confess. Well, see, now that's a celebrity crush we didn't know about. I, don't, I never knew that you were that you had a thing for the reading Rainbow guy. Well, yeah, young LeVar Burton, he's got like the tight black spandex pants, so of course. Mm -hmm. Very weird. This has been another episode of Ask TDS. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and let the questions come in for next episode. Thanks a lot.